All right, Halos, welcome back. We are back in good old um, Final Fantasy 16 once again. <laughs> Continuing back to where we left off from. Let's do it. I think we're heading up to Autumn, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. So let's go ahead and get into it and do it. All right. What do we have here? Central Rosaria, Rosaria, rather from Bork and Beards. Okay, yeah, that's just a side quest, so we'll just speak with Otto for the main quest. At every border crossing. Clive, you're back. I am, and with glad tidings for once. Hugo Kupka is no more. Well, I'll be. All of our comrades who lost their lives back at Sid's place be smiling down at you right now. We had a stolas from Lubor saying Drake's fang had fallen. I expect that was your doing as well, was it? It's... It's a long story. One for the history books, I'll bet. Welcome home, Clive. It's good to be back. You look better. I feel it. Which means I'm coming on your next little adventure. You're not leaving me behind again. Wouldn't dream of it. Otto. Any uh, word on the royalist movements since I've been away? Shouldn't you be putting your feet up? <sighs> if you really want to know, go and have a word with Vivian. Thank you. I will. All right, let's talk to Vivian then. What's up, Vivian? Ah, the conquering hero returns. And with hardly a scratch on him. I may have picked up one or two. <laughs> well, the fact that you came straight to me instead of visiting our resident Physica suggests that you picked up something more important. A scent. The scent of Waluda's. The very same. But whatever plans Kupka was hatching with the Royalists, he took them to his grave, as did his men, slaughtered by the orcs who'd taken over the Fang. Orcs, Vivian. I've never seen such creatures in Storm before. The Waluders must have ferried them over from Ash, but why? Why work to rescue Kupka only to invade his home, the mother crystal of an allied nation, and let both fall? It makes no sense. Do you know the tale of the blind men and the adamantus? One can often be led astray by focusing too closely on individual details. One must instead see the bigger picture. And what bigger picture is there than my map? Haha, <laughs> nice transition, you sly dog. The kingdom of Walud claims dominion over all of Ash. It is a nation forged by the bloody conquest of Barnabas Tharm, the dominant of Odin, the Canvarian War of Independence in 849, the Battle of the Twin Realms in 865, the Battle of Belinus Tor in 873. Wheresoever his armies fought, Odin was found where the fighting was fiercest. But of late, the warrior king appears to have laid his sword to rest. Battle rages for control of the crystalline dominion. Yet Tharm sends not a single ship in support of his Dalmechian allies. Meanwhile, the Blight ravages great swathes of ash. Yet warlike Walud shows not the faintest interest in laying claim to untouched lands. So why go to the trouble of sending an army of orcs into the heart of Drake's Fang? Only to make no attempt to claim the Mother Crystal for Walud. It can hardly be for lack of men. Tharm's armies rival any in the Twins. No. We have not seen the last of the Walud standard. Odin will ride again. It is but a question of when. And on that day, who will be trampled underfoot?
In summary, I know not to what end the royalist betrayed Kukka. I know only that it is part of some broader scheme. A scheme tied to the ambitions of one man. King Barnabas. But there is no need to wallow in confusion. If one is to cure a sickness, one must first identify the symptoms. And your Lord Uncle has volunteered to do just that by keeping an eye on the Royalists' movements. <laughs> He's really throwing himself into this. <laughs> Indeed he is. Which means all that remains for us to do is await his reports. Well, not quite all in your case. The people of the hideaway must hear the news. Justice has been done. Hugo Kukka is dead. The wounds he left that night are still raw, especially for those who lived with Sid the longest. Tell them that those wounds might finally begin to heal. Consider it the price of today's instruction. I've never known you to be sentimental. <laughs> what can I say? I am only human. And we are, all of us, sentimental animals at heart. I suppose we are. Very well. I'll go and spread the word. Okay. Alright, what's our next quest? Speak with Karen, Blackthorn, and Hippocrates. Alright. Sounds good. Let's do it. Last get her done. Um, I guess we'll do Karen first. She's pretty close. And Blackthorn, then we'll do Hippocrates over there in just a minute. So yeah, let's do it. What's up, Karen? Well, someone looks pleased with himself. It's true what I'm hearing, then. Nothing escapes you, Lady Karen. It's true. Kuka is dead. Hmm. No more looking over our shoulders, then. Good. I'm starting to get a crick in my neck. Don't let it go to your head, though. Alright, cool. What else? I'm sure there's some stuff we could buy from her if we really wanted to, but I'm not worried about it right now. Blackthorn. Do you have a moment? I probably will use Blackthorn to make what her is it? though. I'm busy. I wanted to tell you that Hugo Cooper is dead. I can't tell you how long I've been waiting to hear those words. <laughs> this is it then. Huh? A new beginning under a new Sid. I'll try to live up to the name. All right, cool. All right, real fast, I want to see if I can make a new sword because I know we got some loot in the previous oh, video. So let's use the forge. Is that for you, dear? Enhancer. Ooh. Interesting. Um, that's Earth and Fury. I think that's what we got. Liquid flame. We could do it, but it's not as good as what we have right now. So, uh, yeah, I think we're I think we're set to go on as diamond sword. Ooh, I need white worm bone though, which I don't have, but that's fine, I guess. <clears throat> uh, this will up our attack by fifteen. It looks like enhancer, which I believe is the the new one, right? I believe that's the new one. Let me double check. That there's nothing else over here that we want. Uh, we don't really have the stuff for that. Need white worm bone for that stuff again. Uh, yeah, I think we're good. Oh, oh right, yeah. We don't have that stuff yet. Diamond arm. Let's. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think I will go ahead and get an answer. No scratches, all right? Yes. Uh, can we reinforce that? Yes, we can. Good, good, good. Uh, let's go ahead and do that then. Bone necklace. Not my best work, but it'll do. Nice. Um. You know what? Nah, never mind. We're not gonna do that. <laughs> we'll we'll, we'll right. upgrade that. That's fine. Let's go ahead and check out what the new one looks like there real fast before we talk to Hippocrates Hip 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 real quick. Harpocrates? Yeah, Harpocrates. Appearance. We're gonna do weapon. And enhancer is the new look. There we go. Grindstone looks pretty cool. Yeah, I think probably not the best looking sword so far, but I'm down, honestly. Uh, and then, real fast, I want to make sure we haven't unlocked anything more, have we? No, it doesn't look like it. These are just the same stuff. 
think I'll go back to the icy gold, uh, icy blue for that one. But yeah, all right, cool. Yeah, it does look pretty slick, I guess. <clears throat> let's um, let's talk to her park runnies. Final person on this little bit of the quest. Ah, Clive, have you come seeking the gift of knowledge? No. To share mine, actually. Hugo Kuka is dead. He... Oh my! Can it really be true? <laughs> Look, he's crying. <laughs> he is a big baby. <laughs> and with good reason, children. These are tears of joy. We must offer up a prayer to your parents that the heavens might weep with us. There shall be no lessons today, only thanksgiving and merrymaking. Go, put away your things. All right. Brilliant. Finally, a new dawn has broken. It has. Thank you, Clive. I cannot wait to share the good news. Hippocrates, after Kuka fell, Ultima came to me. I need to know what he is. Have you learned anything? Alas, no, and not for want of trying. I have scoured nigh every historical tome in our collection and found nothing. Not even the sort of conspicuous absence that might suggest a concealment of fact. One is almost tempted to conclude that such a creature never existed. But I saw him with my own eyes. I don't doubt that you did. Alas, it seems you are the only one who has. To others, he reveals naught. We see only that which he leaves in his wake like some terrible force of nature beyond the ken of mortal man. A brother of death. Whether the Ultima you met with was the being itself or merely another projection of its power, I know not. But until I do, my investigations shall continue. Thank you. It means a lot. Right. Let's see if Otto has anything else for me. All right, sounds good. Let's get back to him. I do kind of wish I could fast travel to him. Not gonna lie, save a little oh, bit of time, but it's fine. This is a pretty. It's a pretty game, so I can enjoy I'm the scenery. I'm telling you, it's true. I heard it from Otto's own lips. Hugo Kupka is dead. And of course, the you know, what is it called? Ambiance. Um, I don't know. We're troops talking. At every border crossing. You barely sat down since you came home. Vivian got you running errands or something? Just spreading the word. So, the professor's got a soft side, has she? I'd never have guessed. No. She was right, though. Everyone was glad to hear the news. Ah, oh, but you ain't told everyone. I can think of plenty of friends back at the old hideaway who'd sleep more peacefully for knowing. Not least of all Sid. You should tell him. Hmm. You're right. I should. And I will. Well, when you do, be sure to take Mid with you. She's been going at it hammer and tongs down at that workshop of hers. Trying to do her father proud. But I can't remember the last time she visited the old salt's grave. Very well. I'll suggest it. Alrighty then. Let's go talk to her then. I believe she was up this way and around, if I'm not mistaken. Obviously there's a lot of side stuff we could definitely do, and I probably would if I was just playing by myself, but I do kind of want to get through this main story uh, for the YouTube channel at least. So we'll go ahead. Might need some help tidying up. All right, uh, we'll, we'll continue on the main quests for now. Well, if I don't come up with something soon. All right, Clive. 
What do you want? I'm going to visit Sid, and I thought you might like to come with me. Sorry, I'm too busy for all that right now. I've got to get this thermal displacement stack sorted. Thermal... <laughs> displacement stack. Here. And uh, this is for... Only the fastest, finest ship the world has ever seen. The Ooh. Enterprise. Me and my dad designed it together. Where other vessels rely on the fickle winds to drive them through the water, ours is fitted with mithril engines. And those things have got more push than a behemoth in a bad mood, and more heat than all the hells put together. Which is where the stack comes in. I may have already talked some tight-lipped shipwrights into putting the hull together for me in a little dockyard in Canva. But the stack's a bit more involved, so I'm building it here. Thing is, it's so involved that I'm running behind and it's starting to hold things up over at the shipyard. I'll come and see my dad, though, when I'm done. Whenever that is. <sighs> is there anything I can do to help? Good old Clive. I were hoping you'd say that. First things first, I need some parts mechin. The sack will be made up of three major components. There's the plate in, here, that channels hot vapors away from the engine. The helm over the top, that disperses all that heat into the air. And the shield in around the sides, that stops the rest of the ship from going up in flames. A full suit of armor, then. Probably best to take it one piece at a time. Then you'll need to start with the plate in. Everything else fits onto it. I've got the designs and the list of materials here. Show these to Blackthorn. He'll know what to do. I wonder if she has a bit of an accent in uh, I can't not tell them. the Japanese version of the game. <laughs> Luckily, you don't need to. Obviously different. Different type of accent, I'm sure, but still. Thermal plate designs, okay? Speak with the Blackthorn. Alrighty then, we're gonna do the whole rigmarole. Uh, I wish it was such a such a pain to go around this this hideaway. <laughs> or if you could like sprint or something, that'd be great. Fast travel would be great too, but hey. ED is what ED is. <laughs> Sorry. Alright. We're seeing troops amassing at every border. Let's go talk to Blackthorn. We're almost there. We're almost there. Hey, Torkoal. What's up, Gets? Blackthorn. Can I ask a favor? How with it? It's for mid. Is this my last chance to say I'm otherwise engaged? I'd spare myself for your sake. Go on, then. What is it this time? She said you would know. Here. All right, let's hand them over. Gregor's Tate. Well, I don't know what the hell you'd want this for, but I can make it. Won't be easy, though. And I'll need help. Get Gavin Otto in here, will you? All right. Oh my gosh, please don't tell me you have to talk to both of them now. Okay, thank goodness. <laughs> Save me a little bit of time. So Mid's roped us all in here again, has she? Typical. Still, if that's what it takes to get her to visit Sid's grave, I'll do what I can. And, uh, what is it we need to do, exactly? Take a look at this. It's this plating. The usual saw grade still won't work. We need something that can get very hot, very fast, and still keep its shape. That means an alloy. Something that won't break or buckle at the temperatures she's talking about. Which is where you lot come in. I need materials, and I've got my work cut out already. You'll have to fetch them. Now, there's a special kind of sand I'm after that you can only find out in the Valkroy. Stardust, they call it. As for the rest of the stuff, my usual supply should have it in stock. It just needs buying and bringing back here. Well... We'll get it done quicker if we split up. One of us should probably give you an hand coat in the sand. And the other can go and get the rest from this supplier. Right then. Well, make your minds up who's going where, we can get this over with. 
All right, <clears throat> letting off steam. Well, let's go then. Speak with Blackthorn. Gather the necessary materials. So let's speak with him again, I guess. You going after the Stardust then, are you? Which one of these two lucky souls is going with you? Um, to Gav, I think. Although I haven't really adventured with Otto yet, I don't think. Gav, <clears throat> you're with me. All right then. So, uh, where do we find this stardust stuff? There's a river that runs through the southern reaches of the Velcroy. It's the black sand that washes up on its banks that you're after. Southern reaches of the Velcroy, eh? That's down past Alamil. I'll go and scout the place out. See about hiring us a wagon to bring the stuff back to. All right. I'll meet you by the river. While you're off having a paddle, I'll pick up the rest of this stuff from Blackthorn Supply. Take care. You too, eh? Don't go letting him fleece ya. Fleece me? I like to see him try. <laughs> In your own time. Alright, uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. Thank you guys for watching. I do appreciate it, and uh, we will continue on in the next part. See you there. Peace.